Hey Legionnaires, and look at this, we have a new campaign on the channel, and this is the Persian campaign for the new world mod for Rome 2 Total War. And I did find out early that like the Persian Empire was going to be in, well, the new world mod, so I was like, right, well, we're going to have to do that. Even if it's a very similar part of the world to the Ayyubid campaign that we did for 1212 AD, uh, we're going to have to try out the Persians, one of the new factions added to the campaign. And we'll have to see what happens. It'll be quite interesting to see uh, what we can do, if we can reform the Persian Empire or what. But uh, yeah, as you can see, they have the same like regions to start off with in like Persia and a bit of uh, Media Magna. And all they've done really is just change the uh, image to start with. But there is an entirely new roster. It's a very... Well, it's not a small roster at this point. Um, but it it is a, a work in development. Uh, they have, like, got some stuff added, but not, like, fully added the entire roster yet. For uh, reasons that I, w I won't disclose. I won't say why I'll leave it disclosed. But, um, yeah. It's just... It's being added as we... Uh, as we speak, like, well, not as we speak, but in time. Um, but yeah, we'll see if we can get some money for a trade agreement. There we go. I've done a little playthrough of this to start with, just to see how it is. Um, it didn't go as well as I could have hoped. Um, we'll, we'll be honest. It could have been uh, a lot better. But uh, we'll see what happens this time. And I think I'm going to go with... I went with uh, an animal breeder in the last one, and horse skirmishes, and that's not a bad idea. I think I'm going to go with that again. And this one we need food because evidently we need food at the moment. We're a uh, zero currently, and I think I'm going to go with a fire altar because it sounded like a really good idea last time. And then we're going to build some traveling wrestlers, and then I'm going to get myself some slingers and some cheap swords. Not cheap swords, cheap spears. Which are, uh, yeah, these guys are basically just Eastern Infantry. They are Taka Barra or something like that. And then we've got some more in, uh, elite stuff here. Spara Barra. They look like they're quite good. Uh, actually, let's just quickly have a look. And let's have a look and see where they are. Oh, they're in the, only in the second tier, so we could possibly try and get them. We've got a Mortal Spearman. We'll have to try and get them as well. But yeah, it's not the biggest roster at the moment. Um, but I believe it is being added to as, uh, as we speak. I'm going to go with Bread and Games. Because that's uh, pretty much, well, probably the best idea. My uh, political parties are very loyal. I am the Achaemenid dynasty, so that is the dynasty from uh, like 300 and whatever else that you might uh, have seen them in. Like, they're the famous rules of the Persian Empire, but like that. Let's try and get trade with everyone. Oh, you don't like me. You don't want to give me trade. That's rude. Uh, trade there? Yes, that's what we like to see. Media, would you want trade? Oh, yeah, you would. You'd give it. And some money, I'm sure. A grand? I'm sure you'll give a grand. Yes. And then Media Magna. Do you want trade? Yes, right. They're not... Why can I only do that with them? I can only do trade with them. That's so bizarre. Uh, can I trade with the Seleucids? I can declare war on the Seleucids. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Um, because they've got a lot of vassals, obviously. They have all the vassals around them. That uh, can they can call to bear. Uh, but I can't really upgrade anything else. I could just get more spears. Yeah, let's get another spear unit then. And then I guess we'll save the rest for next time. I don't really need anything else. So I'm going to end the turn. And I'm going to see what happens. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to see some other... Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm going to defend my overlord for now. But I'm not sure. Yeah, that was a smart move. Uh, everyone else decided to stay allied. So we're going to do that. that. I decided last time that I was going to rebel. And it was not a good idea. No one sided with me. So... Uh, yeah, I'll have to wait, build my strength, and then maybe strike when either they break down. Oh my gosh. I'm defend my overlord, I guess. But now we have an enemy to our north already. We start with an enemy to the north now. So we might have to send the army north already. Faction encounter Cyprus uh, and Egypt. Okay. Right. Well, I'm at war with Egypt now. And I'm at war with Cyprus. And I'm at war with these guys. But yeah, everyone else stayed loyal to the Seleucids. I guess you've got to wait a few more turns until they get in. But yeah, they're at war with a lot of people. So I guess we could either just wait till the Seleucids uh, die. Or we could just see what else. But yes, I was really interrupted by all the wars that started to happen. Um, but yeah, so if you'd like to see other campaigns for this mod, then please do leave a like, subscribe, and a comment in the... Uh, well, in the comments, obviously. Um, 
if and just comment below what other campaigns you'd like to see was if you'll obviously if you know about uh, the mod then you could probably list them off but like we've got the amazons um you've got atlantis you've got men of etruria there's like the editani there's loads and loads of other factions. I'd definitely go and check out the mod if you'd like to recommend a campaign. I'd definitely go and check out the mod first so you know like the list of all the campaigns, of all the uh, the factions that, and then you obviously can uh, list, well, tell me which one you'd like to see the most, your favourite campaign. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's a great mod. I'd fully uh, recommend checking out. Uh, the uh, modder has done a great job and, well, I, I can only just say more of this, please. That's what I really want to see. But I mean, yeah, they're minus five. Jeez, and do not like me in this part of the world. What? How come? Oh, just slaves. We just, we endorse slavery in this part of the world. So that makes sense, I guess. Um, I could build, well, what could we recruit here? Oh, these are really expensive. I don't really want these mercs. Um, I should have actually just moved in and then I could have carried on recruiting this turn. But I was desperate to try and get up here to just stop any sort of fight. But I mean, I could actually just make a... Oh no, I could not make a run for that. 20 garrison. Jeez. Um, I will try and go for it at some point. But this is their capital. Um, and my capital down here, Persip Solace, is uh, not as uh, strong as that. We've got uh, another faction over here, Area. I can only pay these guys. What? I don't want to pay them. What? I'm not doing that at all. Um, well. Nothing else I can really do, so I guess we'll end the turn again. Hopefully we don't get attacked by, like... 20 other factions and I have to just come into more wars. Now, Mateo have gone to war with us. Jeez, I guess we'll defend our overlord again. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone else is willing to break away just yet. Usually in, like, vanilla, I see, like, the Seleucids lose all of their, like, vassals, like, in turn one or two. And then they obviously, like, have a really hard early game. So, I mean... Yeah, this is kind of a bit different. I mean, obviously it's only just started, so there's a, a lot to go, but... Yeah. Who knows? I'm going to put in a garrison settlement. Kind of just help this get a bit more secure. I'm going to put in uh, grain pits as well. I'm also going to put in social organization. So we can get some more uh, wealth coming from, like, economy. Uh, from economy, of course. Wealth from economy, yes, Pope. That's, of course, how it works. Um, wealth from agriculture. That's what I meant to say. But yes, yeah, so we'll try and get some of that. And uh, we can't recruit anything for our army. Unless... Mm, do I need any of this? Yeah, I actually probably do. I mean, I don't necessarily need this grain pit. Just yet. So I might wait on that. Send my army into the mountains. And then start recruiting. Well, it's going to have to be more rubbish. I don't know why I actually did that. I probably should have just brought it back across the border and recruited some horse skirmishes. But some more slingers wouldn't go amiss. Because I kind of want to phase out these javies. Because obviously slingers have got better range. I could build a second army. Just to kind of keep an eye on this region up here. I might do that, actually. And obviously we have no one that we ca can, like, give out. Oh, yeah, you're good. Let's have you in there. Uh, cataphracts or archers? I'm going to say archers because it's cheaper. The first men. Then we have the light bringers. Excellent, excellent names. Um, and then I guess we'll slap in a couple of uh, peasants. They're basically what they they are. Um, <laughs> and we'll see what we can do with them. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's not. It's looking a bit red already part, across this part of the world. I mean, we've got a nice block of green down here. You want trade now? No, you're now low. So rude. I see Media Atropatane. I, I just seen that we just swapped emblems. That's all that's happened. I, I kind of prefer that. Per they look more Persian, does this uh, emblem, than the other one. So we'll end the turn again. And uh, we'll see what happens. I I can imagine probably more wars against the Seleucids. They don't get on well with just about anyone in this world. But yeah, I'm so glad, I mean, that it's not 1212, and it's just like a constant, like, six million factions being put up. I mean, there's a few new ones, but obviously it's not as, like, bad as uh, 1212. I mean, it's 1212 is a great grey mod, I can't knock it, uh, really. But yeah, the, the amount of factions in a in a campaign sometimes is like, to get through them is a, is a trial in itself. But there we go, we'll build some horse skirmishes, we'll build about three of them. Uh... 
and they should uh, probably give us some mobility in the battlefield. Uh, is there anything here I really want to build? I mean, I could build... Hmm. Could build... Well, that just has horse skirmishes. I kind of want Median Cavalry. Heavy horses. Oh, that's tw two grand. I might save the rest of my money then. To do that, but yeah, I'm kind of just blitzing through the turns. Uh, early stage. I'm debating to buy a spy though. Might do that after I've saved up for a uh, a, a stables. But yeah, we are going to like get through the blitz through these early turns. There's not really much to do. I'm kind of just relying on stuff to be built, so I've got a bigger economy, so I can just do more. But uh, and I'm not really sending armies anywhere. I'm not going to be stupid. I've got an ar I've got an enemy to the north anyway, and roads have now attacked. So I'll defend the overlord, I guess. I just can't wait till I can expand and be strong enough to take on these people on my own. Hopefully Seleucid's eventually going to be just so held up in as many foreign wars that no one's going to be at home to defend their own lands. And also these guys, I mean these eastern factions, they don't seem to want to break away for some reason. It's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. But there we go, Median Cavalry can be built. I'm going to carry on going down economy. I'd like to have preferred markets. And I guess I can go with more Median Cavalry, maybe? I, I don't know. I probably should have built a barracks at some point as well. But hey. But we've got plenty of uh, stuff spare and that. I don't know. We might be able to build a barracks somewhere. We need wine required to get wrestling, like a better wrestling field. Okay. I like that. It like requires you to have some sort of resources. But that's going to be very frustrating. There better be some wine nearby. I presume I can just trade in it to... Like, use it? I presume. But yeah, uh, literally, like, I can only see this part of the world because of all the people I'm at war with. Yeah, I can't even trade with you. I presume I'm already trading with you then. That, yeah, I must be. I must be. But it looks like there's not much else I can do. I don't really want to spend more money on a army that is just going to be made of trash. Like, this army is going to be, like, bad to start with, and then it's going to get slowly better. But I kind of need to wait on this now for Median Cavalry. So I can get some better cavalry. And I'd like better infantry. Ah, I should have built a spy. I'll do it next turn. I'll build a spy next turn so I can keep an eye on Ectobana over here. And I know when to strike. And take on their 20 stack garrison. God, that's going to be a mess. Or I can send the spy beyond Ectobana and just see where their army is. If I can strike and actually put a siege up. Because if not, then I could be in could be in for a, a long wait and for something to happen, guys. Which, uh, you may have to be a little bit patient, but you may not as well. You may be perfectly fine. I guess we'll put the light bringers to the border. We'll build ourselves a spy. 15 line of sight. I think we'll go with the 15 line of sight here. I used him last time. He was pretty useful. I mean, this is minus 5 a turn. That is not so good. But, I'm not really too first could do, I mean this one orchard should be pretty useful, plus f yeah, five in, in each region yeah, let's have that I'd, apparently I have wine well, I'm gonna get wine for this I'm gonna tell you that I'll have an orchard and it gives me more in economy, I mean what do the other ones do, I mean this one's good for economy and livestock this one has grain, okay yeah, we can do that we can have some wine on the go and yeah, Rag is slowly getting there, I mean, or Rahaga, I don't know how you pronounce it. But yeah, we're slowly recruiting an army. It looks like Medi is really pumping out an army there in Seleucia, if you can see that there. That is a huge army. I wonder if that's like mainly Mercs, because the AI seems to cheat and just buy a load of Mercs and just do, I don't know, godforsaken things with them. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. Some huge stacks. Yeah, look at this. Huge stacks being made. I mean, I could have had a stack that large as well, but what's the point? Oh, okay, I've got a disease now in this army anyway. So I don't really want to be building anything more in this army because it's just going to get destroyed. So that any like plans for campaign, over. Oh, no, there's a huge army here waiting for me as well. They've got Persian elite archers which have like a spear by them. That's really cool. I don't know if that's, that's not the usual unit tag for them either. Um, so yeah, Exbana. I mean, most of these guys are... I mean, these Persian Eastern villages, yeah, they're not great. There's some pretty good archers and some Persian hoplites, but yeah, most of that army... Like, that, that garrison is made of rubbish. Uh, and they have, yeah, Eastern spearmen. 
So yeah, I mean, I probably would have got through that if there hadn't been a defense waiting for me. Uh, trade, possibly. I can do that. Tariffs. Um, we'll go with infantry tent so I can at least build good infantry. Eventually when I build myself an infantry place, that'll be great. Uh, I guess we could do... Yeah, we could do this. More man in manufacturing, yeah. Uh, I don't really need anything else. I mean, I really want to just trade with more people, but they're being so rude. So rude. Yeah, you there. Especially you, Drang... You man with your elephant, Dranganit, Drangagia, I don't know how you say they're going to say that name. Drangenia, I don't know. Drang, uh, yeah, I, I'm probably insulting multiple people. Uh, maybe not from this period of history, but in the past. Uh, but yes, it's it's uh, looking like it's a really rough start for, oh my gosh, Eric Chosia. Ah, they, I'm pretty sure, are supposed to be a strategy, but they're not. I'm going to defend my overlord. I feel like that's... The go-to method. I don't like how these guys have just got, like, armies across my entire empire now. Not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. But they've got a small one. It's smaller than my garrison. Oh my god, the plague is spreading. Yeah, look at that. My army's been decimated because of it. 400 men I've lost. Well, that's going to last for three turns, apparently. So that's basically this army entirely crippled. I could add Median Cavalry, but there's no point. <laughs> They're just going to die instantly, the poor the poor buggers. But yeah, we can see how it chose you now. I swear these guys used to be a strategy of uh, Seleucids. And maybe they are. Maybe they are. Hmm. I think they might be. I think they might have broken away. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a uh, a pretty sturdy defense here. Is Gazaka. I could go through like Gazaka and go and take out that region. I think that's what all these armies over here are doing. Oh my gosh, they've got like, yeah, they're building a big big army here. They might come for Raga first, but I can always counter that. I mean, this is just made of trash. I mean, it's just a cavalry to worry about, but if you just take them out, then uh, there's not much there that could take it out probably, though. That's the thing. Uh, we'll see. We will see. We've got 2,000. And I can't do anything with my money. This is so frustrating. I could build cavalry. That's just going to die next turn. Uh, I don't really want to do that. I'll see if that... If that plague leaves me in the next turn, I'll build stuff. But if not, then... We may be in... Maybe waiting to spend our money. That's literally how this uh, campaign seems to be going at the moment. It's just... End turn, end turn, end turn. But uh, a lot of stuff going on in the end turns, I'll give it that. Oh, it looks like they had a battle or something like that. The Eric chose you. Just saw their battered banner. Maybe they've had plague as well. They've been unlucky and had plague. Oh my gosh, here they come with a huge force. Um, oh my gosh. I actually have a chance of winning this, apparently. Oh, they thought I had a chance of winning this. Uh, well... We're going to have to see what happens here. I may have to go back up and clay reclaim Raga in a moment. But uh, we're going to have a battle in a moment. So I'm going to see you guys in a moment on the battlefield. For, well, how I'm going to set up for this. I mean, I've got cavalry. I could probably go and take out their generals with their cav. Yeah. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a moment on the battlefield. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield. And this is how we're going to set up. We're going to just try and defend this... Uh, well, the cap point here, I may make this a little bit tighter and defend a little bit, uh, a little bit cheesier, defend, like, just the one or two choke points. We'll see. But, uh, I mean, I've now got this units freed up. But, uh, I was actually desperately trying to find it. It was right on top of me was the cap point. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna instantly go and rush the general over here. So, we'll, uh, go and do that straight away. Go and kill him. Go and kill this general off. And then there's only one more to kill. I mean, he's a, uh, Persian elite archer. He's got very light... Oh yes, perfect. The enemy army for the uh, other enemy army is like all the way over here. This might be the other general. Yeah, I think it might be. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're gonna just run this guy down. Absolute audacity to just come here on his own. Out the audacity. Look at that. Oh, that's nasty. I can't even see. Yeah, but generals under attack. I don't even care. Don't even care. Yeah, Barn's power already looking great for us. So, I mean, this is just brilliant. I can now go and siege Ectabana. Once I've lost all the plague. And now my general's safe. 
Uh, I actually should probably try and kill this guy. See if we can get him. Kill him. Run him down. Uh, hold your fire. Gonna need to save all their ammo for uh, later. But I've got cavalry. I don't think... Oh, they do have cavalry. I'm not gonna be able to just go and run around then. Just constantly. But, I mean, they've got three units of cavalry. We can try and uh, get him. But, yeah, if I can kill this general, that's really, really good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they're already, like, racing over with their Persian cavalry. But they're not gonna reach. Uh, I don't know if it's the case with all factions yet, but certainly, like, the new factions, their, their uh, energy goes down a lot quicker. So you need to be careful of that. But it does go up just as quickly once you rest them. I don't know if this guy is dead or alive or not. I don't think the general is dead yet. But we're pretty safe. The cavalry's still a long way off. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to... Yeah, that's a pretty large choke point. I think it will hold where I am. I'm going to need to put all these villages in this front line here, though. This is a deep front line. I'm going to put a Persian brigade over here as well, just to support, because I feel like that's a nasty open area. I can't tell if there's any guys left. I'm just going to put the general back in here. I'll stick one of my uh, my Persian other brigade in this choke point here. And we'll hold fire with the archers for now until they get nice and close. That is the plan. This is the plan of attack. I'm going to fast forward. Because the uh, other army is miles away. And I've got no idea what they're going to do first. I mean, it's the AI, so it's likely... I mean, r the AI in this game is just a bit dumb. I've played on all various different difficulties over my times. And it's still just as dumb. They've got like... They look almost like... Oh, no, they're not Calfrax. Here we go anyway, though. The uh, Not the general. The uh, cavalry's coming. Are they going to form wedge formation? Looks it. They're already active, to be fair. No, they're winded now that they've got here. Yeah, let's fire some arrows at these guys. Can we? Oh, yeah, I need to get these archers a little bit closer. But this is what I want to be putting my archers into, is all of these blooming men with their uh, armoured horses. Yeah, that's... Hmm. Might send up one of my uh, more elite spears to go and see what we can do there. Oh, no. We might need to keep some archers here. Might want to keep some Persian archers here. Uh, yeah, they're losing decisively. We'll send in. Keep you in reserve as well because they're not going to come down that street. So that's excellent. Fire when ready. Fire when ready. And I'll have this one come up. Yep, the cavalry's gone. Excellent. Right, so we'll uh, hold a fire there. Archers, hold fire. Hold fire. Oh, boys, get back. Get back. <laughs> Run. This Yeah, this is my more elite stuff. I mean, I'm glad I got this as garrison stuff, because this is going to be really key. Uh, fire at these guys. Just kill them all. Yes, I'm so glad that we're going to wreck these guys. Get them off the battlefield early. And then we can just go and run rampant with our general once uh, they've all engaged with their infantry, obviously. Yeah, well, maybe this cavalry's not as good as I thought it was. I thought it was really good cavalry, but yeah, this Persian, elite, uh, Persian cavalry's just awful. Or, well, maybe it's awful just being because it's been charged into blooming spears and uh, archers. Might quite possibly be the reason. But if they're now going to shoot me to death, then I'll be a bit upset, but it's a worthy tactic. Yeah, here come the archers, but uh, we'll see whether that's all they do. Uh, I'll just hold your fire. Hold your fire. Okay, I think my guys tried to form a shield wall, but they really didn't. And we can form. I'll try it with a different unit because, uh, yeah, I'll try it with this other spare elite one you got. But you can do this formation now. It's a uh, Persian square. So you can form like a hollow square and you can put like an arch unit in the middle. I'll see if I, well, I've got this unit. I could try and fit in there. Oh, no, there's nowhere I'd fit in there. Uh, yeah, uh, that's the idea though, is to try and fit a unit in there. Um, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't, there's just, the, the square's not big enough, um, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, it's, that's the purpose, like it's the uh, purpose and the thing. And they just shoot my villagers. I'm quite happy with them to shoot my villagers, uh, but the infantry is slowly arriving. I'm going to send my general round now, uh, since he's uh, not needed here. We don't also need all these guys here. The men are wavering, hey? That's a shame. It's a real shame. We'll send up more villagers to die. Why not? And it's Persian Brigade. Because we don't need them here. The only three units that I need to really worry about are these Takabara. And I've actually sent some of them in already to die. 
Uh, you go in as well. Archers, start firing. I'm not really sh worried about shooting there. Uh, oh my gosh, it's all going to come down this one choke point. I had a feeling this was going to be the idea with the AI, but if that is going to be the case, then, uh, well, we're going to do some uh, really nice flanking in a moment. Get that unit out of uh, square formation. We won't need be needing that. And we'll send up some... Oh, shit, no, I shouldn't be sending them up. Literally just said, oh, I should protect these guys. I want these... Well, use these guys. They're, they're my most elites. We'll send one of them up. Uh, send a Persian Brigade straight in. I think we're going to need one straight in there. And uh, we'll have the spare one. The spare stuff ready. I mean, there you go. Already, The villagers are gone, but that's no surprise. The villagers are gone. Uh, get the general around here. Let's have spears go around. Let's have some spears go around. Uh, I'm not going to need all these spears here. I think maybe a third. That way. That should be okay. The rest should be okay just waiting there on their own. They're minding their own business. Oh my god, these villagers are not going to hold. Send more villagers in. I mean, there's no surprise. They are literally just men. Like, given a stick. Do your best is what we're asking of them. Really, where are they gone? Uh, they're not that far away as the general. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're flanking now. I mean, we're starting to wave with some of their troops. I mean, I'm sure like the angles like my archers getting are really, really good. I mean, it's just a mass of infantry in here. But this is going to be useful for the campaign, obviously. Because it's now going to free up a load of units to just basically destroy... Well, free up my army that it's not plague free, but... They won't have any defences now, will uh, Media? Hopefully. That is the plan. They have no more defences now. Uh, we can send more in, but I don't really need to. Actually, let's just stick them there. Soak up fire. And here comes around the flank. I mean, this infantry's... Oh, no, it's slingers. Ah, it's not even archers. Yeah, these guys aren't great. Oh, my God, look at that. They're wavering just as they've been surrounded. I'm going to run the most of these guys down. I don't want them to get away. Do not want them getting away. Uh, yeah, chase these guys down, please. Chase every single one of these goddamn bastards down. These mercy Persian archers, though, might need to... Uh, they might need to go. Run everything down, General. You're going to get so many kills today. There we go. Victory is ours. Continue. Please. Yes, please. We'll run everything down. Uh, archers, uh, I guess hold your fire. And you can become swordsmen. And just chase stuff down as well. And get these guys. Come on. Get kills. I'm expecting plenty of kills, but good to see that these um these sparrow uh sparrow well they are kind of sparrow barrow I have no idea how you say it spare barrow but they're good they're good anyway those uh sort of more elite spears that I brought they're good that's re that's uh relieving to know I guess I guess I'd say that uh but yeah it, it's it's good to know I've got some good infantry in the way and we've got immortals on the way as well so and there's more infantry I presume being add going to be added. Uh, for the Persians, like I said, the roster is not complete. Pop a rally, why not? See what happens. Oh no, we could... We, no, let's not do that. <laughs> let's just not do that. But yeah, we're nearly throughout everything here. I mean, there's not much left, so I'll just fast forward just for the sake of it. Sake of the video, you don't need to see this. And there we go, we'll, uh, we'll quit the battle. A nice size of victory. And uh, apparently that's all we were fighting. Just, to, <laughs> But yeah, there's all the reinforcements. So Sogdanius is... Uh, well, he, he, he didn't do well, put it like that. And my general got 663 kills, which, uh, I mean, that's good for him. But I'll see you guys in a moment back on the campaign map. So there we go, we are back and a decisive victory. And uh, yeah, we basically destroyed their entire army. Uh, I'm gonna... I could release them. Yeah, let's release them, let's be kind. Gets me a grand, so... I'll take it. Uh, but I could chase them. I could chase that army. I don't know if I will. Uh, but logistics, uh, let's go with, yeah, let's go with Rally Horsemen, because we're going to recruit some Medians. I think this plague nearly is over, so I'm going to just build Median Cavalry, and then we should be, I think, yeah, it was only three turns long was the plague, so they should all be okay once they uh, recruit. If not, it's not really the end of the world, uh, because we probably still can't strike out for Ectobana just yet, but it's good to know that, like, for instance, uh, like, the eastern villages are rubbish. Eastern spears, I doubt, are much better. But if I siege them down a little bit, I'm sure I can do a really good job. But yeah, they've got a lot of eastern archers, Persian archers, Persian elite archers, in fact, as well. 
Jeez. But yes, we've got wine now, so we could do a better resting field if we fancied. But, well, that'll be it. That's all I can build. I've got nothing else to build, apparently. Um, so yeah, we'll build a resting field. And, uh, got stuff to do in economy. Uh, or, well, just somewhere in technology. Um, I think... I think I'm going to go with tax labor just so I can get more growth in my city so I can can build more stuff. And I guess I'll upgrade my armies because, well, I've got nothing else to spend this money on. I can only do these ones individually, though. Those individual ones, which is kind of bizarre. Uh, I could build another, I don't know, this is minus 12 a turn. Why is it minus 12? Faction, slaves, events. What was the event? It's because of the plague. Oh, it's plague, isn't it? It's going to be flipping plague. They just hate the plague. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Oh, we've got an unassigned skill, of course, my general. He's uh, been upgraded. Uh, oh, my gosh. I Have they changed this, or is this just... No, I mean, that's definitely different. Confidence. And these are all different. Wary of strangers. What's that? Uh... Bite of Claret, this jet enjoys the sight of blood. Oh, I thought it might have been something to do with, like, disease or something, but no. I don't know why they don't have that as well, like, me uh, like Medicus or something like that. Maybe they do, and I've just never seen it. It's just, like, lower your amount of uh, damage done to, like, plagues. But it's really useful. Um, but I'm going to go down Commander. Anyway, I'm going to go with Commander. And then I'm going to end the turn. And my spy, he's just... I should really keep him around Ectopana because then I know what's going on. Uh, Bactria has now joined the war. Oh my gosh, more and more people just like... I'll defend my overlord because everyone else is not. Or is and uh, hasn't broken away. We will see. We'll see. I might be I might be the only one left now defending him. No, Media still is and I'm guessing a... a area is, whatever their name is. Oh yeah, they're all just sending armies down to the south to like... Oh my gosh, the light brings out disease. Oh no, is it over? Is that them saying it's over? Oh, I don't know. This army just seems to be constantly... Yeah, it, it's got disease again. You're kidding me. Uh, I'm gonna send it north. I'm gonna start sieging our Nectabana. Is there an army here? I don't know. No? Oh yeah, there is. Maybe I could take this guy out. Let's see. Yeah, we could take this guy out. Let's kill them all. Kill them all. Um, ooh. Could I force march? I can. Ah, but not... That's frustrating. I could get to there. And I could help in the fight. Apparently they have no chance of winning this. Probably because all these units are battered. But I don't know. I think I could win this. There's a lot of archers to run down. But I think we've got fairly healthy cavalry. We've got Median cavalry that's healthy. I just don't know if I really want to do it. Uh, I'm going to retreat actually. I'm going to retreat. Um, so I'll do that. So I'm there. I may accidentally give the disease to someone else, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> That's so frustrating. Just go away, Plague. He's only got one more turn as disease. Okay. This one's got... Well, he's got disease. It's going to cause it for however many more turns. I think it's three more. His disease is just not going to go away. Um, but yeah, so we can end the turn. Got unassigned tradition to the first men. Oh no, that's the light bringers. The, the, the disease rattled men, they should be called. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, put in formidable fighters and we'll end the turn. I should just build stuff. I should have just built stuff and then just gone and seated them. I really hope Media don't do anything stupid like besiege that settlement. Because I really want it. It's like my only purpose that I have. Otherwise, I'm boxed in by friendly forces. And I have no choice but to just break out. Oh, there's the elephant people. We had Media yet? Yeah, there we go. Oh, Media didn't besiege it. Good. I'm going to besiege them. And I'm going to hope that I don't die in the making of this. Tax labor. 
Hector Barn has now got disease. Okay, that's excellent. Right, well. At least I can have one purpose in life and just hand disease over to everyone. Like, this is no word of a lie. This disease might actually cripple my army. Um, I don't know whether I want to do anything else. They're going to have disease by the end of... I don't know. Do I just raise some mercs? I could. They're really expensive, though. They are very expensive. They have to sally out if they want to attack me, so I guess yes. We're doing nothing else with our economy right now. Let's build and get some mercenary cav. I'm now risking my own army, though, because it could just die to flipping disease. Is there anything that I can just build that will help with disease? Ah, oh, I'm pretty sure there is, isn't there? I'm not sure. Uh, well, let's have a look. Let's look up. Uh, hmm. Oh, it's not so easy. I can't remember how you look at buildings in Rome 2. It's been like, such a long time since I've done a campaign for Rome 2. But uh, I'm pretty sure there probably is. I can't remember. If you look in tech, it'll probably tell us. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. But, um... Could do with maybe doing something down here. Grain silo, I could do that. I'm going to do armed escorts to give us more money and income and stuff like that. At least I, at least the best thing I could do was give Ectobanus a flipping disease. <laughs> it's so frustrating. It's like, oh yeah, we just, uh, don't mind us. We're just going to just give you disease. Don't mind at all. Uh, at least it's minus seven in this part of the world. I'll bring the army back to Susa and get rid of the flipping, uh, Scorching Hot Summer brings five, minus five public order. Jeez. Um, I mean, eventually when you build all these out, those sort of extra things won't damage, but right now they are damaging. They are damaging. Bactria, I can see as well. I can't do anything because I'm at war with, I'm forced to go to war with them. Uh... But yeah, I mean, Seleucids have held onto a lot of their strategies right now. They still have Sardes as well, which I can't even see. Well, we'll end the turn. I'm pretty sure it's one more turn until the disease riddled infestation is over. And I just hope, for the love of God, that it ends soon. Like... This is <laughs> ridiculous. They both it's had disease once, then I'm going, oh, I'll just have it again. Yeah, here they go. Okay, right. See, I fancy my chances because of all these these boys here. I mean, these guys are okay if they were holding their flip. Uh, I'm going to fall back. I'm going to fall back. I've given them disease now. I don't really care. They've got plague for God knows how many turns. I've got plague. I just don't want... Anyone else can play? Oh, they have, haven't they? Raga got plague. Oh, why are you all getting plague? I'm going to fall back into this land. I have to. It's plague ridden land, but I have to fall back. Can you not run further? No, you've got to stay there, apparently. What? Why? Can I fall back now? That's so broken. Yeah, okay, that was really weird. Oh, I might just send you over here. Separate the armies out a little bit. Um, yeah, the economy's fine. It can kind of stay as it is. I'm not really building anything else. Nothing exciting anyway. Uh, oh, do I? W Maybe I don't really want these these Persian cavalry, but I mean, there's plenty of them available. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't really build anything out anyway, and I've got four grand in the bank. It's because it's got plague everywhere. Stop having plague, people. It's not helpful. Not helpful one bit. I think these guys have the plague one more turn. I'm going to end the turn and do one final turn, I think, just to see what happens. But, I mean, this is going to be a longer episode anyway, because it's the first episode. So, I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I've not done much, I know, but I've been trying to speed run it as much as possible while also learning myself. Because even though I've played it once... Uh, Obviously, it changes every single time in the campaign, so you focus on different things. Oh, I did have wine. Gore has wine all along. Yeah, I had a feeling he might do this. What a bizarre... What is this bizarre man doing? I, I'm going to fight this. And 
I'll, I'll see what happens. But I mean, really, this is really bizarre. But yeah, I'll see you guys again in a moment on the battlefield. Okay, so we are back and uh, I'm gonna see, well, I wanna see what this madman's doing. What, he's got, who's drugged him or what? I don't know, but who persuaded him to do this? But uh, yeah, this is what I'm gonna, I don't know why the UI's gone really small there. That's very bizarre. Uh, but yeah, we'll just get underway and see what happens. I'm on a huge hill as well. I'm just going to speed this up. He should come to me. I've got my cavalry out front simply because I expect this mercenary Persian cavalry to charge me. So the cavalry for me can just soak up the charge. If it doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, but the UI's gone really small. I'm not really sure what's happened there. Uh, but again, these are Persian archers. We should probably beat them really easily. I mean, there's another Persian archer unit. Yeah, I think that's the only reason why the balance power's ever so slightly in my favour. Or out of my favour. I don't know. It's so bizarre. Uh, you're nearly in range. I guess we could just start shooting you. Here we go. Yeah, they're going to just beeline for my f flipping general, aren't they? Yeah. Right. You do that. General pull back. Spears go in. Could you charge them? Quite possibly. Don't know if I want to. Don't know if I want to. Oh, that's a nice charge there, though. But you go in there, please. Uh, yeah, maybe we will beeline and just go for them. Uh, right, you go straight in. You go that way. You need to come this way. Just do that. Inspire. Slap that on. And then you just keep running there. And then you can come around here. And there we go. That's a victory. Really, isn't it? It's as simple as that. A simple take out everything like that. I'm obviously I've not done many close ups. Um, I don't think there's really much to show. I mean, I'll obviously do some battles with the Persians uh, soon, which I'm sure I'll put on the channel ever so soon. But uh, yeah, these battles are really nice and easy and quick that I've had to do today. Nothing too grueling. We'll have to see. I'll have to see when it comes to uh, the larger scale ones. We have some more elite stuff. What we can do. Yeah, I mean these are infantry. I mean they're just. I think their infantry is worse than mine, possibly. I, yeah, I don't even know if I want to kill the general off. Oh well, there we go. No choice. He's dead. Uh, don't have a choice in it really. He's, he's just gone. Uh, so again, we won a nice easy battle. My mercenaries a little bit beaten up, but. I'm not too worried about that. I can always just merge the units, but I don't even think one's lost a single man yet. So, I mean, they did really well. Uh, I might just want, might just uh, see what happens at the end of this turn, and then if my army is stopped dying, then I guess that's where we'll end it. Probably just besieging Ectobana, because that's what we'll be doing from now on. Because they've just sent out their final army to go and get itself killed. But I'll happily take more armies or more battles like that. Uh, I don't really want to release their captives. They are going to get another another general. That's a shame. I shouldn't have taken out their general. Um, please. Oh, a child is born. Here is amongst men. You got the disease. Ah. Well, I can I can take that. You can't get. Um, like a. Ah, you can't get any replenishment because you've got no flipping. You're in disease riddle part of the world as well. I wonder if we go into their territory. Would that be the case? Um, are you already starting to lose any men because of the disease? I can't say they are. They do have disease though. Should be interrupting with your flipping. If only got four more turn. What is this rubbish? What is this rubbish? Um, I'm just going to send you to there then. And go and get you replenished. Because I don't really want you uh, just chilling with disease. And then I guess we'll give you... I guess we'll give you a uh, experience for infantry. Not that I can buy any infantry yet. Or any good ones. I don't really want to just buy the rubbish uh, off the streets. But that is look like we're probably going to end today. I know I haven't expanded, but I've uh, done a lot of a lot of turns really quickly to try and get us up to speed. But uh, it's been it's pretty slow going to start with, uh, as the Persians I've, I'm finding because 
there's lots of extra modifiers that have been uh, like added in like uh for the public order so you've got to try and keep armies near to your cities and also plague just seems to be rampant and it's just really really like i don't know if it's just me that i've been unlucky and like the same army got hit with the plague twice but I mean, I know it was in the same region as Susa, but it was literally like Susa was about to lose it, and then my army got it again. And I was just, I feel like I was just unlucky. But I mean, the first men seems to have been uh, pretty um, immune to it. I might actually just, could just, can I get a round and attack? I think I can, yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe next turn I'll, uh, I don't know, I can't get this army any further and try and get it replenished which is annoying i'm gonna maybe just retreat to here and then i mean they can't build a big enough army quickly enough now to uh, face me down so i mean that's reassuring so yeah this is where i'm gonna end the first episode of the persian campaign for the new world mod hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you